welcome you all in this video i am going to explain how to perform classification in data mining using vega explorer first we have to open the data set click open file tab here then choose data set from the predefined data sets which is available in the vega so c colon program files vega by default vega is installed in this part only then choose data i am going to use iris data set so iris the ar ff file then click open now the iris data set is opened here the iris data set contains five different attributes sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width then finally class attribute so first four attributes are numeric attributes numeric attributes the last attribute is nominal attribute the last class attribute is nominal attribute so here we are going to see how the classification in data mining is done using vega so the first four attributes are called as independent attributes the last attribute is the target attribute or dependent attribute so i am going to perform the classification operation so go to classify tab then click choose for choosing the classification algorithm here click here click click trees then choose j48 j48 is one of the the classification algorithm so here the test option is cross validation cross validation is uh, cross validation divides the entire data set into different folds um, each time the single data set is single fold is considered as the testing data set the remaining folds are considered as the training data set here the number of folds are 10 so uh, one data set is considered as the test data set remaining nine data sets are uh, remaining nine folds are considered as the training data set so this process repeated for all the 10 folds so uh, in cross validation all 10 folds are considered as the training set data set then considered as the testing data set this is the main feature of this cross validation all folds are used as training as well as the testing so when we click here in this j48 algorithm it displays the properties of the particular algorithm it contains various features we can change the features depending upon the depending upon our needs here the number of folds are 3 number of decimal places in the values in the numeric values are 2 and so on now i am going to consider as it is just click okay here now click start operation for performing the classification operation here the output of the classification is displayed here the size of the tree is 9 then correctly classified instances are 140 and incorrectly classified instances are 6 the iris data set contains um, 150 instances in the pre process tab the iris data set contains 150 instances these are the different types of instances iris setosa iris versicola and iris virginica different these Uh, different types of class attributes when we click the class attributes it displays the different types of classes available in the particular data set so each has 50 instances so totally 150 instances uh, among the 150 instances go to classify tab here the 144 instances are correctly classified as it is the six instances are incorrectly 
classified. So, on the uh, other outputs are other metrics are also displayed here. Then accuracy by class for each class the accuracy is displayed here. True positive rate, false positive rate, precision, recall, F measure etc. Then finally it displays the confusion matrix. Confusion matrix determines the number of classified instances and number of correctly classified instances and number of incorrectly classified instances for each class. For example, here the first row determines 49 instances are correctly classified as iris setosa and one is incorrectly classified as iris versicolor. B is the, defined as the iris versicolor. So, one is incorrectly classified as the iris versicolor. The next one, A, sorry, next one, in the next row, 47 iris versicolor are correctly classified. Remaining 3 are incorrectly classified as iris virginica. Finally, 48 are correctly classified as iris virginica. 2 is incorrectly classified as iris versicolor. In the confusion matrix, the diagonal element shows the correct classification of the particular class. Iris vetosa, setosa, 49s are correctly classified. In iris versicolor, 47 is correctly classified. Then iris virginica, 48 is correctly classified. So, the confusion matrix is based on the true positive, true negative, false positive and false negative values. Suppose we want to display the tree associated with this algorithm is classification algorithm means click in this result list trees J48 option sorry right click in this option then click visualize tree. So, it displays the tree view of this particular data set for this classification operation. So, here the tree is fitted based on the petal width attributes. Petal width is considered as the root then remaining are uh, um, child of this particular attribute. Thank you.